Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple Discord keylogger and a disclaimer before we start the video, this is for educational purposes only, don't send this to anybody, don't use this for malicious intent, if you do, it's not my fault. Let's get into it. So first thing you're going to want to do, install uh, Python, it's just like the coding language that has to be installed when making stuff like this, and now when you create a folder, you could rename it to .py and it will be its own thing, like, make it whatever, dot, pi. See? So, you're gonna wanna go to my Discord, where I have all this, like, information, coding stuff, Roblox, hacking, all kinds of stuff, it's pretty cool. Start making more videos on it. And you're gonna make a folder, and call it, dot, uh, keylogger dot pi. Just copy that. Put it in here. <coughs> Sorry if the quality of this video isn't that good. I'm still new to this. And then just open that with TextPad and copy in the code I have on the Discord. Like, copy all of this. You could edit it or whatever if you want. And then you're going to want to create a Discord server. Because basically how this works is how it sends it to you is this Discord feature called Webhook that just, it's like a Discord bot and it sends you the stuff. So just create a Webhook, name it whatever, copy the Webhook and paste it in here. Save the file and there you go. That's pretty much it. And now to run it, you have to install some things with Python. So, just go back to the Discord and copy this command. Basically, uh, with Python, you have to install things to make different things happen. Like, this installs the function that allows you to press keys, and it logs it. Like, it tracks your keys. So, once you do that, to make it into an exe, because if you send it to someone, they try to open it, it will just show them the code, and it won't do anything. To actually make it run when you send it to someone, you have to turn it into an exe. So just copy this code. Well, first you have to you have to tell CMD where you're trying to make it go to. So just copy wherever it is. Right now it's on my desktop. So go to desktop, copy that, and type in CD, and then enter that. CD, perfect. And then do the oh, sorry. Copy this, and it will turn it into an EXE file. We'll generate a couple things. Go to here, and it should go through in a second. There you go. Keylogger.exe. Okay, once you open the file, it will automatically start tracking your keystrokes. And to close it, just click uh, Control Shift Escape. Open up this menu. Search up. Key, key logger, and right click it, and task. Okay guys, that will be it for today's video. If this video gets 100 likes, I'll show you how to convert EAC files into PNG files. Bye.